everyone, welcome back to my channel, Mom Life with Hope. If you're new here, my name is Hope. I am a mother of three kids. I have a 12 year old daughter, a nine year old daughter, and a three year old son. And I am married to my absolute love of my life. He's amazing and my biggest support. Also used to work full time and now I am a stay at home mom. So who knows where life will take me in the next couple years, but for now, this is what I'm doing. So I will be decorating, but also cleaning my house at the same time. It was my daughter's birthday this weekend, so I'm kind of slacking a little bit. I will not be doing the tree because we don't have any fake trees. Uh, my husband prefers the real trees Usually, we get them, I want to say right after Thanksgiving, like that weekend after Thanksgiving, we get our tree. Um, we just prefer it that way. And then the good thing is, with the tree, my parents live out in the country, so they use it as firewood because that is their only source of heat. I will probably make a video for that later of just a Christmas tree of us going to pick a Christmas tree and then finally like putting it up. So stay tuned and I'll show you guys everything and then I'll also do a house tour later of how my house looks after the everything is already up and ready to go. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll put my Instagram information right here so you guys can see what I'm doing in real time because YouTube I usually edit and it takes me a couple days to post but Instagram is always in real time. So there you go. I'll leave that there for you. So don't forget to like and subscribe. And thank you guys again so much for watching. I'm starting to take out some of the stuff. I, I'm i kind of going and just taking everything out. Not really deciding where anything is going. I kind of put that tree up there. I don't know if it's going to stay there. But I, for now, I'm just removing everything from the box. And just placing it as I go. So um, I'm going to need like an extension cord for that. Um, I put already some of the Christmas haul stuff out. I have stuff from Amazon that I haven't even put away. That's my husband's thermos. I'm not even, that was delivered yesterday. So I'm not even really too worried about that because there's so much to do. So I got a Walmart order earlier and my son, before he went down for a nap, he left a mess. And yes, those are boxes from Costco my son enjoyed playing with them so we left him out for a couple days and so it looks kind of bare I'm enjoying the simplicity of it just now so we'll see um, but I put my little snowman up there there's not much out right here um, so I will slowly start to put everything together my son is helping with the dusting let me see can I see how you're dusting oh you're doing great I added this little decoration to kind of give this. I felt like it was a little too dark, but I I really like it. It's very, oh, good job. And then this is something we got at, I want to say Kirkland's, a couple years ago when we first moved in. This is my favorite lighting that we get during the day is early morning. So I'm going to show you guys some of the decor that I put up. I had this, I think, a couple years already, but I got it at Hobby Lobby, and that at Hobby Lobby, and that at the 99 cents and only store. Excuse the mess back there. My son is playing with his toys. Um, this little, this little glass, uh, like vase, was given to me by a friend. She gave me some flowers in it, so I just kept it. And decided to put some candy canes because I thought it looked super festive and cute. This little vase here. So I got this vase at Walmart. And it was about 10 bucks, I think. Like $10, $11. And then, mm -hmm. then I got these little um, kind of like acorns and like little holly berries um, at Dollar Tree. So they were only a dollar, and it's a, there's actually two in here, two little um, bundles there. So then we'll move over here to my kitchen table. So these were from Hobby Lobby. You can see that in my haul. My I'll link my haul in the description down below. 
And so I got the little snowman at Hobby Lobby and this jar um, at Hobby Lobby. And I just added candy canes. This I actually got at Home Goods probably last summer. And it, I can utilize it in different areas. So I, I thought it was a perfect color. So this table wasn't here last year. So um, I needed to get a couple more things to fill it in. So we already had the little garland. Um, but the snowman and the tree are new this year. And so is this little tree. And I've had this lantern. I kind of just attach, you know, different themes. Here I have a little, um, like, little statue of, you know, Jesus, Joseph, and Mary. And then I have the little reindeer. So, yeah. Oh, and I also have this up here. It's like a little wreath that I got. This one I also got at Hobby Lobby. I actually... A like placed, uh, you can't really see it, but I placed a um, little stick, the stick hooks there. Uh, I think they're command strips. So I didn't press super hard because I did it on the mirror, so I didn't want it to mess it up. So that's on there. I also added this wreath to my pantry door. I did, it was just a plain green wreath, and I didn't know what to do with it and it was so cheap I think it was like two three dollars and it was just the wreath alone and then the little acorns in the middle it's one of those like tie um, like twist tie little bows and I was like thinking oh, what am I gonna do with this and I found a place for it so it does take up the whole door like our pantry door isn't very wide but I just feel like because it's a white area like it just looks so good so <clears throat> yeah and then I have like a little statue. I got this little statue of like Mr. and Mrs. Claus. I want to say like three years ago. I haven't had it in a long time. And then this little tree, um, I bought a bunch of different colored ones. But I think they were from the 99 cent store or Dollar Tree. Um, I don't remember. It's been a very long time. In the kitchen. Just creates a little bit of height in the kitchen. And... The buffalo print we don't have a Christmas tree up yet so you'll kind of see yes my son is sitting on a box um, we got Costco order stuff and he just sits there and he says it's his go-kart so right now there's no argument on what he can play with because it keeps him entertained and wait you're eating Cheetos oh my goodness anyways I took the Cheetos away so now he's eating a little breakfast um sausage on a stick but no we do not have a christmas tree up you can kind of see right there that's where the christmas tree is going to go so that's a little round thing that goes to it and this was also included in my haul so <clears throat> oh my God, there's a truck back there so this will be where the christmas tree goes and it go that little metal thing goes around the christmas tree yep so yep. and then we did get these and then we've had this little S ornament for a long time. I want to say since, I think it's been like, since we moved into the house. So it's been about two, three years. It hasn't been that long. But yeah, here's some of the stuff that we have for Christmas up right now. But once we get our Christmas tree, it'll look a lot more complete. And we'll do a tree decor video. So, this is the cleaner I use. I know it says oven cleaner, but I just use it for the top of the stove. I remove my knobs and the very little top metal part that goes over the little circles. And I let this sit on my stove for about eight hours. If I can let it sit more, I leave it overnight. And then I just go in after it's sat for at least eight hours. And this is a really hot rag. So that's why I'm wearing gloves. The grill part of the stove, I just real quickly wash it with some Dawn soap and an old sponge. And wash it in my sink. So that one's actually relatively easy. After I wipe down all the stove and make sure it's clean, I remove all the knobs. And I clean them individually with Clorox wipes. 
And then this is what my stove looks like after it's so pretty and shiny. I just love a clean stove.